Namaste, you're watching World Cuisine with Ramesh. Let's make some Norwegian style meatballs with uh, creamy sauce. If you want to see more of my cooking videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Now let's check out the ingredients for this recipe. Ingredients measurements are provided on the screen and on the description too. We need milk, chicken broth, I'm using 5 spice powder, if you have all spice powder use that one. We need ground nutmeg, ginger, salt and pepper to taste, sour cream, red wine, flour, some butter, egg, two to three different types of minced meat. I'm using here bison and the pork. Onion is optional. I couldn't figure out the use of onion in the recipe. Let's just start kneading meats together or you can use a blender. Once you mix uh, for some time, add uh, egg and continue kneading again. Once egg is combined, Make a space uh, in the center as shown in the video. Add milk. Add spices like ginger, nutmeg, five spice, salt and pepper. And start mixing together. I'm excluding breadcrumbs here, so you can use breadcrumbs as suggested in the recipe. Once you are done with mixing, let it sit for 5 minutes. Start forming a meatballs using your hand as shown in the video. Arrange all the meatballs in a tray. Once you are done with the forming of meatballs, heat the butter in a separate pan. Start browning meatballs from all side. I'm cooking in a batches. Transfer cooked meatballs into iron skillet. Add onion on the side. I'm lost with the onion, but it's okay.
Once all the meatballs are arranged in the skillet, add broth. Make sure to cover meatballs with broth halfway. And cook it in a stove for about 20 to 30 minutes. Now time to make a sauce. Take out all the meatballs and uh, onion. Transfer that broth into cups. If there is not enough for the sauce, you can always add more broth. In a separate small saucepan, add remaining butter. Add flour once the butter is melted and cook for one minute. Now bit by bit add slowly broth and keep stirring. Make sure there is no lumps. Sprinkle some salt. Add some water if the sauce is too thick. Finally, add some red wine and uh, sour cream and mix together. Make sure it's on low heat during this process. Now it's time to serve. Arrange the meatball and little pieces of onion and cover it up with the gravy sauce that we just made. Thank you so much guys. I hope you give it a try. I know it's a long process but it's worth it. Thank you so much. Enjoy!